So I had a little bit of a teaser with this video with a YouTube short slash TikTok just recently about a long-running bug present in the Windows calculator that got patched a few years ago. And if you hadn't seen that video, this is pretty much going to rehash that so you won't have to go back and look at it. But anyway, for the past few years, Microsoft had patched a long-running bug that was present in the Windows calculator involving square root operations. So if you took something like the square root of 4 here, which you know is a perfect square that comes out to 2, and then you subtract 2, expecting 0 to come out, you didn't actually get that. You got a negative number here followed with an exponent, which was very strange and, of course, not the correct answer that people were expecting. And so, and again, Microsoft eventually patched this a few years ago with build 17.639 of Windows 10. But the interesting thing is there seems to be a bit of a two-sided argument regarding this bug. Because apparently, as we just saw, you take the square root of 4, you subtract 2, you get this erroneous error. But the flip side of the argument seems to be that we're just not using the Windows calculator correctly. Because if we do square root of 4 minus equals, oh, well, we get 0, which is the answer we're expecting. But we never entered the 2 that we wanted to subtract from it. And that's because when we do this operation, we get the answer from the square root, and then we put the minus there. And when we use equals, we're automatically telling it to use the result it gave there. So that's apparently the flip side of this argument. So, But apparently, as I say, it originally got corrected as a bug, and so they patched it. But again, I did say that this was a long-running bug. So how far back do you think this calculator bug went? Well... Let's start with the previous version of Windows, Windows 8.1, and see how far back this bug actually goes. So here's calculator on Windows 8.1. Let's do the same equation. 4 square root gives us 2 minus 2 equals, and we get the same wrong answer that we're not expecting. So it doesn't work on Windows 8.1. Now let's go back again to Windows 7. So here's Windows 7. Again, let's do the same calculation. Square root of 4 minus 2 equals... Again, we still get the wrong answer. So it's no better on Windows 7. So let's go back again, back to Windows Vista, and see what it does. Now we're looking at calculator on Windows Vista. Doing the same calculation. 4 square root minus 2. 2 equals gives us the wrong number. It's a different number, but it's still the wrong number, so no better on Windows Vista. Let's go back to Windows XP. So here's Windows Calculator on Microsoft Windows XP. Let's do the calculation for square root minus 2 equals same answer as Vista, and it's still wrong, so it's not any better on XP. So let's go back to Windows 2000 and see if it still works there. So here's calculator on Windows 2000. Let's go ahead and do calculation 4 square root minus 2. And that, that still gives us the same wrong answer as Windows XP did, so doesn't work on Windows 2000 either, so let's go back to Windows 98. So here we are with Windows 98 and its version of calculator, so we'll do the calculation of 4 square root minus 2 equals, and we get a different answer, but it's still the wrong answer, so even as far back as Windows 98, the calculator is still bugged. So, we'll go back even further. Let's go back to Windows 95. Well, here we are, all the way back to Microsoft Windows 95 with its version of Calculator. And did they get it right all the way back then? Let's take the square root of 4, minus 2, equals... Hey, look at that, it equals 0. We don't get a wrong answer. 4 square root minus 2 equals 0. Now, that's what we'd like to see. And we had to go all the way back to Windows 95 for a calculator that worked properly. 
Imagine that. So as you've seen, we've had to go all the way back to Microsoft Windows 95 for a calculator that didn't have the bug in it. And it looks from the way it is that it probably sprung up during Windows 98's production, including some later versions of NT4 with their service packs. And it's been doing that ever since until build 17.639 of Windows 10 when it finally got addressed and corrected for. Now again, we have always been using the square root of 4 minus 2 to give us the wrong answer, but of course this is applied to other perfect squares as well, like the square root of 9 and subtracting 3. That would give us a wrong answer, or taking the square root of 81 and subtracting 9. That would also give us a wrong answer, but of course the counter argument still applies here because we can take the square root have 9 there, use the minus equal, still get 0, and the same thing with the square root of 81, and using the minus, and still getting 0. But of course, as I said, Microsoft did patch this with 17.639 of Windows 10, which was back in 2018, and we can see this on my version of Windows 10 here, which is the latest version with its version of calculator present here, and if we do those calculations, we can clearly see that it comes out to the correct answer of zero. Same thing for that, and the same thing for the square root of 81. So, it has been addressed. So you wouldn't think that there would be any more problems with the Windows calculator. We can finally do all the calculations we want, get them to all come out correctly, and not have to worry about, oh, come on. Now, of course it worked right back then.